In just three days from now, Taiwan voters will head to polls to elect a new president and legislature. In the latest, Taiwan's defense ministry has issued an alert saying that China had launched a satellite rocket. In response to the satellite rocket launched by China this time, we discovered abnormal movement. It flew over southern Taiwan and we considered it was threat. So we sent out alert messages through mobile phone to inform the public to be alert. The White House has reacted to news of China's increasing pressure on Taiwan ahead of the polls. It's, I think, I think this, these actions raise questions uh, in our mind about what the intent here is. Um, you mentioned coincidental here in timing to the, the election. I have proof that that's what's driving that, but it sure does raise interesting questions, doesn't it, about what their intentions are, what their, what their goals are with this activity. Beijing has reaffirmed its claim over Taiwan, saying that the island's upcoming elections are China's internal affairs. Even as balloons are repeatedly spotted flying over the Taiwan Strait, the Chinese foreign ministry has skirted questions on Beijing's aggressive actions. The ministry says that is this is not a diplomatic issue. Taiwan is an inalienable part of China's territory and elections in the Taiwan region are China's internal affairs. This is not a diplomatic issue, and I refer you to the Taiwan Affairs Office for further details. This comes as Taiwan's vice president and ruling party candidate Lai ching te has said that he wishes to reopen dialogue with China based on equality and mutual respect. This after almost eight years of Beijing's near-complete refusal to communicate with leaders of the island. However, Lai has also said he would hold to the current administration's policy of maintaining democratic Taiwan's de facto independence. I will continue to uphold these policies which are in the interest of both Taiwan and the international community. I will maintain the status quo and continue to bring society together with the framework of the Republic of China, Taiwan. Our door will always be open to engagements with Beijing on the principles of equality and dignity.